Hey, welcome to another episode. I wanted to jump straight into why the sudden YouTube name change. Well, simple reason. I googled myself. I made the mistake of typing in on YouTube, Dave's DIY, and realized that not only was I not the only Dave's DIY, but I was probably one of the least known ones. There was another couple channels that have substantially more subscribers, and I don't know them. <laughs> I've never heard of them before. I've never seen them before. They just popped out of nowhere. Uh, I have had my channel now for 15 years and have never heard of them. So I decided rather than talk to them and say, hey, can you change your channel? They do have the higher subscriber count, which means they are more established and probably it's a huge pain for them. I'm not going to put that on somebody else. I'll just change my name. So from here on out, we shall be known as Spectrum DIY. And why that is, is if you haven't already guessed, I'm autistic. Um, I'm actually, I was not diagnosed autistic. I was actually diagnosed with Asperger's. But I do not like that term due to Hans Asperger being pretty much the bane of human existence, wanting to drive us to extinction. But obviously you can see just from what I'm holding in my hand that I've got something to discuss. But I didn't want you just staring at a blank screen while I ramble on about the YouTube name change. So again, welcome to Spectrum DIY. That's what we're going to be known as from here on out. And hopefully we will not run into any other people that have Spectrum DIY as the name. Because there's no telling how many viewers searched my channel because I told them about my channel. But then went to somebody else's channel because it wasn't me and they didn't know. So... I changed it. It's, it's called Spectrum DIY, and I'm so sorry if this comes as a shock to some of you um, that likes things to stay consistent. I personally do. However, in the spirit of I really would rather, if people are looking for me, I would rather people be able to find me. And if Spectrum DIY ends up not being, you know, the greatest uh, name, then what I shall do is I shall name it to my call sign because I guarantee you there is not another AF5CG YouTube channel. And if there is, then I'm going to have them for copyright because that is my call sign and I legally possess the license for that name. So anyway, on to what I've got for you. Just had to get that off my chest let people know that this is no longer Dave's DIY, unfortunately. I would like it to be, but that is perfectly fine with me. Now, what I'm holding, these two sheets look identical, but they're not. Um, this is a mistake. Let's see. One of them was a mistake print. Let me see. I'm going to hold it in. There's a shiny and dull. Okay, so the dull side down. And same in regards to this one, dull side down. Great. All right, so I printed this one. And if you'll see... This one printed excellent. When I peeled it away, the text did, in fact, uh, come out the right way. And I see that it is blurry. I apologize. My camera is going to be replaced, I'm sure, if it cannot keep up with the autofocusing. I shall replace it. This is the silk screen and not the one you saw in the last video. This is actually number two. In the last video, I did the silk screen, and for some reason, I didn't notice this at first, but all of the letters, especially noticeable in this region here, let me lock my focus. This is going to bug me so much, and I know it's bugging you guys. I apologize so much. All right, so I've locked focus. Maybe it'll stay there. Maybe not. I don't know. But... So, you know, this one ended up turning out decently enough the second time, and I'm really pleased with it. So I'm going to put some uh, green lacquer, of course. I mean, you see, I like green. But on this sheet, all the letters had to be flipped around. If I flip it over, so you're looking at it, 
you'll see that all of the components are on the left side and there's a blank space on the right. And if you're looking at the top of the board, the blank space is on the left. Well, that's because when you flip this sheet over and ready to print it, you're sticking this to the top of the, the circuit board and everything, whatever you see through this paper is what's gonna peel off. So if it doesn't look, if you, don't, if you hold this paper up and it doesn't look right, then it's not going to be right. And that's given that the ink, if you'll see that it's shiny, whereas if I flip on this side, where the ink is, it's kind of matte. I don't know if that shows up too well or not. There it goes, there's a pretty decent. All right, versus how shiny that is. Yeah, there you go. So, you know, I'm able to look down through the shiny side, this side, and see, yes, indeed, everything is actually facing the right direction. This was the one I did in the video, and if you can tell, I don't know if it's going to stay focused. I really do apologize for my shoddy focusing work, but I hope that that's visible on screen that these are backwards. And <laughs> whenever I flip the paper over shiny side up, that's not shiny side, is it? That's the matte side. Okay, so this this was the problematic one. But, okay, so with matte side up, everything looks fine, right? Except for the holes on this side. <laughs> holes not. Holes on this side. So, whenever I flip the matte side down, everything lined up, all of the schematics lined up. Excuse me, all of the silk screen lined up. However, the text is backwards. And that irked me. And I'm sure if you guys watched that last video, you saw that. So that I did is I went back in and I found out the hard way in KiCad that you have to manually change everything. So what I did was I went in, I zoomed in on each of these points. I clicked on the text itself, went to properties, selected mirror, and I mirrored every text on the whole board. And then when I went to print it, I printed it mirrored. And that way, when I took this piece and I flipped it over, as it is now, of course, this lines up underneath the sheet and all of the text is lined up the correct way. It's not backwards. So once that was on there, you know, I, I did the silk screen transfer and that left me with a decent quality board now to show you I'm pleased with how it turned out in the back if you take a look through the board you'll see how everything ended up lining up there we go I had to get into focus again I had to line I lined everything up really 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 OCD like so you know this whole board has been a product of my inability to just let things be crooked in fact i worked so hard on trying to get those traces square across the top that i think i spent more time lining up the template that i did actually transferring the toner to make this thing which is probably something many of you can relate to but anyway i did want to show you you know the new silk screen this is the one we're going with it looks i'm so pleased with this board it looks really professional the only thing I've got to do, I'm waiting on a drill press to come in and I've got some 0.5 millimeter drill bits and I'm going to drill all 113 pads. Once they're all drilled on both sides, then I'm going to lay down a, a solder mask, not a solder mask, a, well, a regular mask that's going to cover just the pads. I'll lay that down, toner transfer that onto the pads, and then I'm going to take some spray lacquer and lacquer it and the reason for that is that toner will keep them from sticking directly to the pads and you can solder through that and then on this side I'm going to take that same green clear lacquer and lacquer this whole board uh, on this side to protect my silk screen because toner will not stay on these boards this is you notice I'm not touching the ink it's I mean you can rub on it just ever so slightly but if you were to scratch it um, in fact, it looks like I may have kind of right in there. 
the, this will come off. So what I did was I screen printed it and I just left it on my desk and you know, I will cover that whenever I get back to it. But this video has rambled on. I did not want to ramble on that long. It was mainly an update about swapping the channel name, but I also did something because I did change something. I wanted to share that. So this is, we've only had to do two attempts. That was easy fix. So attempt number two on the screen print was just flipping these words around. So I hope you all have a good one. It has been such a journey getting this channel set up and ready to go to, you know, share all of my projects. I have done so many that I haven't shared, but until next time, I hope to see you and I hope you'll hit that like and subscribe. If you're used to searching for Dave's DIY, I apologize. Um, but if you and your friends are ones that are subscribed and are watchers, just let everybody know that watches. Hey, look, check out Spectrum DIY, Spectrum DIY, because I just, I don't want to have a name that somebody else has, you know, it's plain and simple. So I do appreciate you guys stopping by and I will see you next time.